Hi and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to talk about the DFC controller 7220 and 7210. The complete whole wiring of DFC controller. Okay. One of my friends from on the comments to me to please make the video on complete wiring of DFC controller. This video is for he. Okay. Let's get started. This is our PLC, DFC PLC 7220 and 7210 controller. This two type of controller have same system but one is EMF auto main failures and one is non AMF okay how to complete the wiring the system so what is the best methods of a DFC controller if you know about the one DFC complete wiring you understand all the DFC model complete wiring from A to Z this is a very simple and uh, great methods to learn the DFC complete wiring. Okay. I drawn already the diagram of back side of or PLC but you this is some pin num numberings you need to wire. Okay. But you understand the concept how to wire the complete system. Easy methods, simple and very very carefully. Because this is the DS DC system direct current system and which some wires is only AC system the DC system when you put the wrong wire to the wrong place this modules be going to the blown and deep and you if you are wiring an AC system take carefully that's a very high voltage and very dangerous okay Safety first, safety first before works. Okay, then works. Look at that. This is our complete PLC backside TV and connected pins. How to complete the wire in the system? First of all, this one number pins you need to connect with the battery ground, and this another one you need to connect. For the battery pass to and you jump with this uh, you need to number three this is your emergency button emergency push button so you know and NC contacts take from one wire from the positive side and insert and NC contacts and out and give to the number three. This is your emergency stop button wire. Okay, after that, four number is your fuel. This wire is going to be to the turning on the fuel rail. This is our fuel rail. Two points for coils for energizing the relay, turning on the relay, and two for the NO context. This is the load inside, this is the load outside going to the fuel solenoid to turning on the fuel. Okay. One side is be grounded to the relay coil side, is grounded to the grounding system. And one side, this one wire is, number four wire is going to the relay coil side past you. When you, when you start the engine, this four number pins send output 12 volt to the relay the relay energize and close this contact 
close this contact and or 12 volt is pass out through this contact to the fuel solenoid when the fuel solenoid is turning on the fuel should be turning on okay after that number 5 number 5 is our crank when we press the start button the number 5 pin send 12 volt to the starter relay when the starter relay coil is energized that will make the contact close of the load side and 12 volt pass throughout and the close contact to the starter solenoid and starter solenoids turning on and rotate the engine okay after that the six number pin you can connect your charging alternator your charging alternator let's remove that's for D L R W L this is our charging alternator pin numbers you can call or terminal numbers you can connect this six numbers to W or charging alternator W A for the warning name when our charging alternate not working this will show on on our module charging fail and this uh, another working of this to monitoring the charging alternator voltage on the screen okay six number after this 16 number 16 number is our for oil sender oil sender means to monitoring the oil psi pressure on the screen of the engine standard is 4.5 4.2 4.3 standard and some maybe goes drop down the engine should be faulty or some the bearing issue or some another issue related to the low oil pressure okay you can connect the 16 pins to the oil sensor G side oil sensor has two WK and G you can connect this one to the G side okay after that 17 number pins this will connect to the temperature says center temperature center G side WK side you can connect this to the G side okay after that the 18 number fuel sender this will found and on a fuel based in to monitoring the fuel on the screen when uh, we have a uh, low fuel the engine will not start that means let's send the command to the, uh, the controller the controllers not cranking to the engine okay it's monitoring the fuel center 18 after that 15 15 means all center 
Tao mình cái đó All since are gone Can you You need to To splice to each other And provide it to the 15 number page Ok After the 60 To 65 This is all all negative inputs five negative inputs for the engine switching when you have low fuel level the engine should be stopped if you have over temperature the engine the engine should be stopped if you want to low oil pressure the engine should be stopped this user user configurable pin 60 to 65 this you can program with the laptop to the laptop or with the computer for the using the safety okay if your engine is our load should be tripped or stopped down okay after that 8 9 10 11 This is the user configurable warning. When you have low oil pressure, the module, the side, just show you to the low level light to blink on to you notify to the the engine have low oil pressure. If the your engine is over temperature, that will blink the uh, or temperature light. This have this module have four uh, indication lights. For the you can program it and use it for the different purposes. Okay, this for one. After that, see that means can high common and H L. This can high and can low you can connect this one directly to the ECM can high and can low pins ok after that this 7 so you ground it to the all engine system chassis 24 and 24 is the shield wire and 22 and 23 is the MPU magnetic pickup unit wire, wire. ok let's start from the another side this 51, 52, 53 and 54 is best, 55. This all the city, our city have S1 and S2, S1 and S2, S1 and S2. This three has been common and directly given to the 55 and this separate, separate wire 51, 2, 52, 53. Okay. Forty three, forty four, forty five. This is our three phases L one, L two, L three, and finally the forty six is our neutral. Okay, and forty one and forty two is for the generator contractor, and thirty nine and forty for the main connector, main contactor. Okay, this is the complete wiring of DFC PLC module. 7220-7210 I hope you understand Thanks for watching See you next time and goodbye